One of the engineers who helped build Artemis sadly did not live long enough to see it launch. But his daughter is certainly filled with pride tonight. News 6's Treasure Roberts has her story. And Treasure, she's been on edge for months just waiting for this liftoff. Yeah, Matt, third time's the charm. That's what the late engineer's daughter said to me tonight. Although she couldn't be here in person this time around, she says seeing it lift off successfully filled her with pride. He has been my main motivation. So I would definitely say a big thank you. I first spoke with Chloe Stack in August, just days before NASA's first attempt to send the most powerful rocket ever launched from the Kennedy Space Center straight to the moon. She's the daughter of Peter Stack, a former senior engineer with a company called Sev1 Tech, a contractor for NASA. Peter had a hand in the Artemis I mission, but he died before seeing the results of his work. The company flew in Chloe and her siblings to get an up-close look at the highly anticipated launch. It got scrubbed, which was pretty disappointing, but... You know, we were still kind of happy to be there. The second attempt was also a bust. It's hard to get something bigger than the Statue of Liberty beyond Earth's atmosphere. And I just know that I knew they had been working hard, but I knew there were just some complications and they weren't going to send it up unless it was perfect. But Chloe had hoped the rocket would lift off on try number three. Sadly, this time she couldn't see it in person, but made sure she didn't miss the stream. I have class in the morning, so I was like, OK, well, I'm not going to sit up and wait. Um, but I did set an alarm for like right before one o'clock. Left off of Artemis one. Even though I wasn't there in person, I still got chills watching it. An emotional sight, one she says was worth the wait. My dad would have absolutely loved to have watched that go up. And as she said many times before, she's proud to be the daughter of a man who helped make history. My dad was one of the many people who helped get that thing into the sky. Chloe says her dad inspired her. She'll continue his legacy by working at the Sev1 Tech Company full time after she graduates in May. Matt.